Hi, this is Gary. You're watching How to Play Monopoly. Uh, it's part two of a three-part series. In this part, we're going to cover uh, dice and probability charts. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, looking at the dice probability chart here, this gives us the odds of an individual roll. Like, uh, say, a 1 and a 1 would be 2. comes out to be 2.8%. Um, a 1 or a 6... Uh, 16.7% uh, chance of that getting rolled, and I'll explain what I mean in the next slide here. Basically, rolling a 2, you have a 2.8% chance of uh, that happening. Uh, the same with 12. Uh, the most common roll is going to be a 7. That has a 16.8% seven percent chance of getting hit uh, while the six and the eight have almost a fourteen percent chance it comes out to be uh, thirteen point nine percent and uh, the fives are down to eleven one now basically um, in Monopoly all doubles that are rolled get another roll unless they go to jail uh, which that means is 16.7% of the time we're going to roll a double and that means we get to go twice in the turn and what that means is in a deeper game um, that's going to count to 1.17 turns which is going to generate more cash flow to us uh, basically due to the doubles getting an extra roll we're going to get about 1.17 dice rolls uh, per turn and you'll see what I mean when we go to the next slide here okay as you can see here we have a dice probability chart and this gives us an outline of what the odds are for landing on each individual spot now last uh, summer when I was writing my Monopoly property valuation strategy book I was trying to go through spreadsheets and figure it out and I, I came up with a 3% number but I realized that I had to adjust it and I didn't really want to do a ton of adjusting so I did some searches on the internet and I found these links that are listed below uh, there's three different links there where they actually went in and got the exact odds uh, for landing in each spot now one caveat here and that is that um, if you remember earlier me showing the dice chart uh, we get approximately 1.17 uh, turns per turn so with three or four players that can uh, uh, skew the data where that, that data is not correct so basically we just multiply by 1.17 to get the true odds of somebody landing on each turn and you can see the chart here uh, some numbers are above 3% uh, some numbers are slightly below uh, the uh, Mediterranean is 2.51%, uh, Boardwalks 3.19, and everything else is in the middle. I think Illinois is 3.6%, which might be the highest there. So we have a, a lot of different options here. Moving on uh, to statistics, uh, if you take an individual property, uh, the cash flow uh, from the Stitch probability chart is actually going to be skewed to the left. By skew to the left, I mean you're going to get a lot of zeros, and occasionally you get a big number, let's say $25, $30, $50, depending on the property. Uh, the boardwalk be the easy example, you get $50 cash flow or zero. Most of the time it's going to be zero. Uh, so, so that data is skewed to the left. Now, a normal distribution looks something like this. I drew a, a line there where it kind of averages out. Um, which is not so much the case with boardwalk. You get an average, but it's skewed to the left. It's mostly zeros, and occasionally you get a, a good outlier. So, uh, where this property chart helps, or, or making uh, cash flow charts help, is the more players you get, and the more property you get, uh, more property plus more players, is going to come out to a closer to normal distribution on the cash flow data which means your numbers will be uh, closer to the percentages that are listed above in, in the chart 
And that concludes our segment uh, number two.